Princeton University has launched a $200 million campaign to provide the essential services, support and facilities for our students, our faculty and our community. In that campaign, some $60 million are for new capital projects. One of those is behind me, the iconic old Maple Leaf Gardens, which we are co-developing with Loblaws. This is the site of our new Ryerson Athletic Center with a large ice rink, a multi-purpose court, various gyms and other facilities. The other three facilities are our new Image Arts Building and Ryerson Image Center, our new Student Learning Center, which is on the old Sam the Record Man site, and soon to be our new Health Sciences Building. This is the new Image Arts Building and Ryerson Image Center. This will house our great new photographic collections for our students' research and study. This was the old O'Keefe building and is an example of how we are repurposing old buildings to serve our community. Ryerson has taken on the moniker of uh, City Builder, but what really that means in, a, in the simplest form is that as we build our university, we should be taking care to also contribute to the building of the city. $55 million is going to be raised to provide scholarships and bursaries to support our students, undergraduate and graduate. And another $45 million will be supplying support for our research and teaching agendas to make sure that we have the best environment in which our students can function. I'm pretty excited for the new athletic building that's being built. The city life is well integrated into the school. We were always excited about the opportunity to place a new building here at the corner of Young and Gould. This was a part of the campus where it reaches out to uh, Young Street and to Toronto in, 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 in a very real way. It was very important that we create a place where those two worlds could meet publicly. Uh, that it weren't entirely encapsulated within the envelope of the building. Research at Ryerson is growing faster than at virtually any other university in this country. We've more than doubled our research grants in the last five years, and our scholars are internationally recognized. The uh, leadership from the university level to the departmental level, they all have a can-do attitude, and they will make sure what the researchers need are provided so we can actually compete at the world stage. Ryerson researchers have a real world orientation which means that not only is their research recognized internationally for its quality, it actually has an impact on people's lives. The yeah, basic uh, principle of uh, optical coherence tomography, or OCT in short, um, you can think of it as if it's um, like sound. So sound wave uh, goes into uh, to human tissue and bounces back. Same thing happens with light, and that provided a unique opportunity to look at uh, human tissue we can see blood flow information from the light that's bouncing back from the tumor tissue. Now the devices are reaching the doctor's offices where the patients are potentially benefiting from it. It has that background and a lot of hands-on uh, hands applications. I love it. The professors are still actually working in the industry. We get to interact in class. Just being downtown, it's so, it's awesome. It's very culturally diverse and it's a really nice change. Working at, at the Ryerson Digital Media Zone has been a, a tremendous experience and, and certainly I wouldn't be here today without it. DMC solved three of the biggest problems that we had at the beginning. Small funding and then the second problem was infrastructure. The third problem was actually the network itself. Right? A network of people that are doing the same thing, the entrepreneurs, the DMZ staff, Ryerson alumni and the faculty, they come every day. So that's very important. We're part of a network of different startups and with different entrepreneurs. So a lot of the synergies and a lot of the uh, you know the day-to-day -day, the conversations that happen here, those are pretty important. It has a lot of good experience and um, connections with the industry. This place provides you an opportunity um, to develop as a person, to carry on projects, to look after projects, to lead teams, and then to make a difference. We all believe that financial need should not be the factor in determining whether or not you can fulfill your dreams educationally. It should be your passion, your talent, your imagination, all those things that are financially independent and therefore the support we get from donors to be able to give our students the support is critically important to the university and obviously most important to the students. We have many alumni who have achieved amazing success in their careers and most of them will always refer to the fact that the grounding they got here at the university was what gave them their start and their foundation for the success that they've achieved. My experience at Ryerson 
triggered a lifelong interest in architecture. And my knowledge gave me an appreciation and an ability to deal with the world's most talented designers. Ambitious people can kind of really live their dreams and, and learn about a field they're totally passionate about. One of the great things that I found so rewarding is that we've been able to come back and actually work on a project, a joint venture project between Loblaws and Ryerson. I chose Ryerson because I always thought it was uh, one of the better business schools and uh, especially the professors here. What we'd like to have is 30, 40, maybe 50 new research chairs recruited to Ryerson from the very best places in Canada and in the world. These would be key faculty appointments, digital media, communication, information technology, energy and the environment, health and well-being, innovation management and entrepreneurship, engineering and technical innovation. We really need the support of our friends, our city, our donors to help realize all of our aspirations. A university is so much more than the buildings that make it up. Our students deserve exceptional, beautiful spaces in which to learn, to study, and collaborate, in which faculty members will teach, conduct research, and create new knowledge. It's with the help of a campaign like this that we'll realize all our aspirations together and create beautiful spaces for this university. What is delightful about uh, working with Ryerson students, and I would say it's true of all programs, they give you the sense that they're the generation that's going to do it, that they can take on the world, and uh, they're inspiring. Ryerson is continuing on its path to be a great 21st century university with outstanding facilities, with cutting-edge market-driven and discovery-driven research, and of course, first-class teaching. Our vision is to continue to build here in our urban core for the students of today and tomorrow and for those that will come even later. A great university in a great city building a great future for Canada.